These reading materials are the only supplies given to the school from the Morbe Education Division this year. Apart from this, the school has not received any teaching or learning materials as part of the government's tuition fee-free policy. Head teacher of Omili Primary School, Doreen Boa, says the school had survived through the project fees paid by the parents. For Omili alone has not received any TFF funding. And we are now towards the end of term one. And our, through our project fees that the parents are paying, we've purchased a bulk order of exercise books, pencils from PNG Tona and the Moro Bear Stationaries this year. Omili Primary School is one of the biggest schools in Leh with a population of more than 2,400 students. With the delay in the teaching and learning materials, the teachers are utilizing whatever they have available to educate the students. The school was given just one copy of an English material book from the education division. And from project fees it charged, managed to run 1,200 copies for the students to use. That was delivered by the government last year, copy, a copy each per book. So our school has managed to purchase through a printing company to photocopy 200 copies of each book. The school needs extra curriculum materials in order to deliver quality education to its students. The head teacher is calling on both the provincial and national government to make TFF payments on time in order to cater for the students' needs. TFF has to come on time. If it's budgeted for two quarters, it has to come on time to, to move and meet the needs of uh, our standard of learning that we require for a school to excel and achieve. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.